Alright guys, today I'm going to do a little bit of inking, and I've been using these calligraphy pens, um, which have nibs on them. So the nibs are the little metal ends that you see on there, and they come as a handle, and you buy the handles separately in a package. Um, there are different kinds of handles, and I just happened to buy Speedball, so when I went to the art supply store, um, and I had been watching some videos, and people were using these really fine fine tip nibs. Okay, so something, a little tip to be aware of if you start venturing down this way and you, you want to do hand lettering, calligraphy, or you're doing pen and ink drawings. This was a handle that came in this packaging. They don't come with a nib. You have to buy the nibs separately, like in this package here. Um, so how do you know which one works with which nib? Okay, so what happens is when you see the packaging in the store, this is how you're going to know um, how it fits on which nib. So these numbers here tell you that these are the corresponding nibs that will fit on that handle. So on this pen holder, you will only have three nibs that will fit. Okay, so then you look, 102, so I was able to figure out by 102. Actually, I actually had to ask the store clerk. <laughs> he was so nice, but he helped me figure out, okay, you want to get the 102, then you need the one, um, the handle that will fit 102. Most of your standard, um, as far as for speedball, if you're going to do like calligraphy, um, this regular handle that has the broader end of it will fit most of your calligraphy nibs. And you're going to see at the end here, see how it's curved like that. If I turn it sideways, you can see. And so when I look at the top of right here, it has a circle and it fits right in like this. Okay. For um, this nib handle, this pen holder, you can see it's just, it's just a circle. It's just like a big you know, circle hole. And so when you look at the nib end right here, all I have to do is gently place. And you don't have to stick this in as far as you think, because if you press it in too um, deep, uh, you're, you're gonna find that this is gonna be hard to pull out so you're gonna um, I ended up having to use a pair of pliers and gently pull this out because you might not realize it on the fine nibs like this it's actually got a slight little slit right here and I don't know if you can see this probably can't see it but it's slightly slit right here you expect it to be slit on the point here so it can actually hold the ink and then draw it down but on the other end it is so if you press too hard you're gonna damage the nib okay or when you're using the pliers to take it out because you shoved it in there too far um just be really careful because you could end up destroying the nib now i know that and so i don't have to press it in that far okay so anyways just a little tip and i'm going to go into doing some pen and ink work on this drawing again so anyways i made revisions to it the gesture could have been better. This is much better. The perspective was off on these two tables. You know, you do some more perspective drawings and you realize, oh, that's that's messed up. So I'm using um, Canson's um, Bristol paper, smooth. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to go ahead and start doing some inking.